next we have exponential signal uh, so this is another signal that we will face or encounter in uh, in this course so f of t so f of t is basically represented by a e to the power minus a t so suppose we consider a to be a positive value so either it, it can be so if you have this signal then we call it exponentially decaying sinusoid so, so here it is drawn so you have suppose here a value of a equal to 10 a equal to 10 and a is equal to 5 when you have a equal to 5 you it decreases much faster than when you have a equal to 2 so in the second case where you have a red signal in that case a equal to 2 so which decays slower compared to decay rate of uh, of uh, when you have a equal to 5 now there can be another case where your signal actually is is, is getting high and high as t goes uh, so in that case you have f of t a to the power a of t and here also you get a tense 0 so you see that <coughs> you see that this one the blue one uh, much decreases much faster compared to the red one where you have a uh, lower value of small a now <coughs> Now you can actually plot this. Uh, so if I make a table, if I make a table, I can plot this and uh, and show you that how actually different points uh, of f of t you can get with respect to t. So so I plot it here. So you have f of t ten e to the power minus two t. I plot it here t t and f of t. So t equal to minus two minus one zero plus one plus two. And then you, you plot correspondingly the values of f of t. And as you see from here that as t grows higher, the f of t, the values of f of t grows lower. And it, it, so when t equals to infinity, f of t goes to 0. And we have this blue line here that I have plotted. So, so it is going. For, but now if you plot this one, 10 e to the minus 5t, it, it basically decreases in with a much faster rate right much faster rate. so decay rate is faster in this case uh, because you have you have much higher exponent uh, that means you have much higher value of a small a now to compare this decay rate we use another concept so let me write down so to compare the decay rate to compare the decay rate or raising rate the time constant is used so time constant so this is we can, we call it tc so time constant you can define time constant is equal to 1 by magnitude of a so so when you have so f of t equal to a e to the minus a t right so so your time constant is this magnitude of a always you take the positive value so anyway so i define the a in a way that it is always positive a is always uh, always positive so and you see here for the case where your your a equal to 2 then time constant is 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 and when you have a equal to 5 time constant is equal to 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 so that means here your decay rate is faster. Decay rate is faster. Right? So, so what is the value? So, so the question is, the, what is the value? 
what is the value of f of t equal to a to the minus a t at t equal to time constant. So you want to know that uh, when you t equal to time constant and always remember that the the, the unit of time constant is, is in seconds. So the unit of time constant is in second. So we want to know that what is the value of the function at t equal to tc. So that means when t, so in this case t equal the tc equal to uh, sorry the tc equal to tc equal to 1 by 1 by a a is positive I will define in this way. So yeah, then your f of t equal to tc so t equal to tc that means 1 by a so this is uh, t equal to tc and this is 1 by a is equal to a e to the power minus a and t equal to 1 by a so this is a equal to e to the power minus 1 so it is a by e which is around 0.36 if you find out the value of e 2.7 and 1 by 2.7 is around 0.36 so 0.36 a so that means uh, if you if you plot this if you plot this uh, you have a signal like this decaying and at so this is your t and at t equal to 1 by a for example t equal to 1 by a this value so if this is a this will be point this will be 0.36a. This one again, uh, this one will be 0.36a. So 36% of the original value of a. So then we can define the that for a raise, uh, for a decaying sinusoid, uh, time constant is the value of that time where your a is decreased. Uh, decreased by 0.36 times uh, 0.36 times so it it, it gets it, it it achieves a value of uh, 0.36a 0.36a so Okay, so so now we have we have two values of a in our previous examples a equal to two and a equal to five. So when you have a equal to two, then uh, one by a equal to 0.5, right? So this t will be equal to 0.5, right? So and then when you have when you have uh, t equal to so this is for a equal to uh, 2 when a equal to 5 this value of t will be equal to uh, 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 so in that case you'll have uh, so this is uh, if you consider this to be 0 0.5 then you should have 0 0.2 in the other case so so you will have a graph which will be more or less like this right so it will yeah so suppose in this case okay i think let me just uh, draw it again so you should have at t equal to point 0.2 you should have this value right so your graph should be like this okay it will have to default so it will be like so you see that it is again 0 0.36a 0.36a so this value is 0.36a and this is also 0.36a but this 0.36a comes uh, comes uh, uh, what you call before that the value of 0.36a when you have t equal to 2 when when you have a equal to 2 so when you have these two graphs uh, 
which is a smaller time constant, it will decrease faster. So it will achieve 0.36a in much faster or uh, lower values of t uh, time constant 0.2 uh, rather than uh, 0.5. So I think you, you you understand the basic concept. So so in when you have a when you have an exponentially uh, what you call raising function, right? Like this. So again the same thing will happen so if, if this is a and uh, so in that case in that case you have uh, what will happen so just f of t will be equal to a a e to the power a t and you want to know what is the so at 1 over a a e so uh, it should be equal to Okay, so so here we have plotted so here we have we have just for raising exponential function we have plotted these things here. Uh, so when you have two function in these graphs. Uh, you see that so the 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 function which increases faster uh, it has a, a smaller time constant 10 e to the power 5 t so time constant is 1 over 5 and where which is decrease increases in a, a smaller rate it, it, that is a 10 e to the power 2 t 10 e to the power 2 t uh, 10 e to the power 2 t now now you can you can actually uh, so if, if you know that f, f t equal to a e to the power a t so you want to know the value of t at time constant time constant in one over a so replace t by one over a you should have a e a into e to the power e so it is two point seven eight times of a so in that case uh, for this graph where you have a time constant of point two at point two seconds you should achieve this point two point seven eight a two point seven eight a uh, 2.78a and and the graph uh, which is uh, the which is the uh, expression of 10 e to the power 2t it should achieve uh, the same 2.78a but at a much higher value of time so uh, this is with respect to time this is with respect to time right. so uh, so at point 2 you achieve 2.78a uh, which is the time constant here for 10 into the e5t graph and at 0.5 seconds you achieve 2.78a uh, for the graph uh, 10 into the power 2t so you can say that uh, a signal which has a, a smaller time constant it, it it decreases faster or increases faster compared to the signal which is a larger time constant